I don't think you're gonna eat it all, but. I don't know if I will either. Lance here and we left the sunny coast of Florida, the kind of uh, Tampa slash Clearwater area heading up more mainland a little further north uh, towards Gainesville, just north of Gainesville to a place called Stark, Florida. And here we're going to a restaurant, brand new restaurant, previously was a food truck for a few years called uh, Blue Line Q, Blue Line Q. The uh, gentleman owns it, used to be a police officer, which is pretty cool, and now he is cooking barbecue. So this is a Texas style barbecue. Yeah, Texas style barbecue in Florida. Hey, we're gonna see what it's all about. This is supposed to be some of the best barbecue in the state. And uh, hey, we got a huge challenge. They have this crazy platter. It's called the Walk the Line Platter. It features all kinds of meats. And these are the craziest barbecued meats I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm dead serious. I am going, I'm not even gonna tell you what the heck, I'm gonna get the, the gentleman there, the, the staff, to tell us what's actually on it, because I couldn't believe it myself. I've never even tried half these meats. So, yeah, let's just say huge barbecue platter. They said it's at least 10 pounds. Uh, no one's ever been able to feed it before. There's a couple sides as well. But, yeah, so uh, let's go have some fun. Eat some food, get you some more info. I know it's $200 should you fail, um, but you do have a 45-minute time limit. So it's actually a bit shorter for such a monstrous uh, challenge, like quite a short time limit. But anyway, give some details. But um, at that, barbecue, Florida, big state, and uh, apparently big challenges. So let's go eat. Hi everybody, so here we are with the Walk the Line Challenge, and there's so many crazy unique items in here that I got. Mr. Matt himself, Matt is the owner, Matt is the main, well, some people call him pit master, he says he doesn't refer to him as such, but we'll call him the barbecue genius behind this. And I um, mean, yeah, a Texas style, slightly renditioned here in Florida. So I'm excited, these are crazy items. Let's just say, well, I've left you waiting, but this is the craziest barbecue challenge I've ever tried. So obviously we have some classics, such as like, pork ribs, turkey, that being said, well, and brisket, love me some brisket, Texas style, pulled pork, but that's about where the norm ends. So my friend, what we got going on in these ribs looks delicious, some kind of a crust? So that's gonna be our uh, St. Louis cut rib okay. with a raspberry chipotle glaze on the outside of it we like to use. Um, next to that's gonna be our uh, turkey. It's gonna have a little bit of a chipotle seasoning on the outside of it as well. Okay. Um, then we're gonna move on to, this is gonna be our cowboy ribeye bone in. What? Like this, this is what I was saying everybody, a cowboy rib. I like you look at the big cowboy steak and the big tomahawk bone. There's cutting pieces off, which is crazy. I've never seen that at a barbecue restaurant. They have this lovely spice on it. It almost looks like a, reminds me of like a smoked prime rib. Yep. So we like to use a, um, a seasoning on it called a shake and steak from Lane's seasoning. Um, really, really great seasoning for it. Does a great flavor on it. And you know, we always slice that to order. So that way we keep all the juices and all the flavors. Cook perfectly by the way I'll add. Have some pork. This is gonna be a pork belly burn ins right here. Okay. So I want to shout out to Panther City. Um, Ernie and them, this is one of their things that they taught me while I was out there in Texas. Um, we kind of put a little bit of a twist on it, put a little bit of our raspberry chipotle to it. Um, beside that, you're gonna have the brisket elote. Another shout out to Panther City for that okay. one. They uh, helped me modify and bring that in. All right. This is our uh, fresh made to order slaw. It's Ooh. a Tex-Mex slaw that we make. Okay. In front of that, you're gonna have a Wagyu brisket. Hot oh, damn. Uh, we don't like to cut any corners. Beef quality yeah. is where it's gotta be. Seriously. Um, next to that, like you said, you got your pulled pork, which is a traditional pulled pork. We put a little bit of a uh, sauce we make on it. 
And then in front of that, you're gonna have kangaroo loin. It's gonna be a grilled kangaroo. Kangaroo? Like, where do you get kangaroo? Like, that's insane. I mean, that's that's unique. Like, what? What? what why kangaroo? Uh, it's one of those things of we won't we don't want people to feel like barbecue is constrained to just certain meats. Okay. Um, we want people to kind of reach out and try new things. Um, we've run the kangaroo a few times on the truck. We do a kangaroo taco as well as on our meat plates. We'll do kangaroo. Damn. Uh, people just really love it. If hey. you can get them to try it, they, they really love it. It's a great cut, um, really good stuff. We're gonna try it today. Obviously a huge, lovely looking beef short rib. This just looks Texas through and through right here. Yes, sir. Completely calorie free. <laughs> what do we got going on here, uh, another beef? Next to that, you're gonna have a Wagyu, um, Australian Wagyu culotte Damn. Uh, from Black Opal Farms. Um, wanna give a shout out to Halpern's uh, Meat. They were able to send us one of those. They just they got them in stock. Beautiful cut of meat. Um, always really great, always really flavorful. So um, I think you're really gonna enjoy this challenge. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna eat it all, but. I don't know if I will either because this is so much. Like seriously, this is over eight pounds of meat plus these sides, and these are not light. This is dense, heavy packed, which is a lote. That lote is definitely creamy and not calorie free, but hey man, thanks for walking me through it. Looks delicious, and uh, everybody, Texas style barbecue in Florida, and a Florida sized barbecue challenge. Let's get started here. Just momentarily. Let's see if you can do it. Woo, all right everybody, so might as well get started. I'm definitely hungry, looks great, smells so delicious. I'm definitely excited. Um, but yeah, I also got some of their sauces here. We got their traditional red. I have a mustard sauce they make, and they make all of them. I love, love, love mustard sauce, especially on pork. I also have their pulled pork sauce, which is kind of a little bit like a moho in a way, which is pretty unique. Then I have some chimichurri, which they use often on some of the beef and some even more raspberry chipotle. Um, but yeah, at that, I think I'm ready to rock and roll. Like we said, we only have 40 minutes, so it's a lot of food. And I repositioned everything to try to fit some um, of their house-made pickles and pickled onions on the platter here. I guess I can put one there, one there. So yeah, at that. Matt, you good to get started? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so, whew, a lot of food, not a lot of time, but I'll uh, set an example for the kids, we'll probably start with some coleslaw and uh, move on some, from there. So, man, it smells so good, everybody. I wish you could smell it. Posto, very Texas. So, maybe we can start to say count of, ah, how about, whew, be with me, Jesus. Five, four, three, two, one. one. Let's do it. Mm. I don't know. Nice slaw. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to, as we showed you, as we told you, really a unique and crazy barbecue challenge. I can tell you just made it. Like that's really sends out. Oh yeah. It's not runny. And I like so soggy sauce. Mm. So we just went through all the different meats, so I won't repeat it, but let's just say these options were so unconventional. And I mean, Texas barbecue in Florida is pretty unconventional too. Is there Chipotle in it? Chipotle Bullstock. It's good though. So here we were with the Walk the Line Challenge. We were really walking a thin line today. This was a big one and definitely not a lot of time. So when it came to just the quality of the item that this restaurant was using, it was mind blowing. They go out and fulfill my obligation to children. I'll be saving that low tape for later. Pick onions. Mmm. Very nice. Um, from there. Then dive into this lovely looking turkey. Oh man. Mmm. Tender. Everybody. Woo wee. Mmm. That is fantastic. Mm. I love your smoked turkey. Mm. And that is some tender breast. I'm a breast guy. And you're gonna wanna see, literally see what I'm talking about when it comes to quality here in just a moment with the meats. I get like a little bit of the raspberry chipotle, but more just the lovely smoky meat. Show some of the sauce. Mmm. That has an amazing flavor. Mmm. Hold on. Try to place it. Mm. 
There's some molasses in it. Blue Line Q, well, it's definitely like Texas style. I would say it's a rock in about a 70% Texas. And then the other like 30% we'll call just like Southern American, um, you know, just kind of American style barbecue. And hence we are in Florida after all, I think it's very fair to kind of do that 70-30 mix, having a, well, Florida, Texas kind of jam. Um, but what makes Texas barbecue Texas barbecue if you're not familiar? Well, hey, let me tell you all about it. Delicious though. Well, from there, let's try some kangaroo. Never had kangaroo before. Might as well dive on in. Mmm. Rosemary? Mmm. You know what? It, it's very similar to beef. Yeah, very similar to beef. Nice flavor, super nice texture. What is this? Soft ribs part. Hmm. I like it. It has a really nice great, um, it's not gamey, I thought it'd be gamey. Yeah, honestly, that beef that tastes like this. Mm. It is good. Mm. Very nice, actually. Yeah, definitely different. I definitely have the rosemary on it. So Texas barbecue, unlike a lot of other American styles of barbecue, definitely focuses more on the meat and just salt, pepper, and heavy smoke. So it's a more simple seasoning. It uses a, the heavier smoke as a true utilization, a true kind of aspect in the flavor, and then really putting the kind of focus on the meats. So it is a lot less about sauces. It's a lot less about multiple, multiple spices, extreme fancy, you know, complex rubs, and really just kind of simple meat, smoke, and salt. Which one do you recommend, my friend? The, uh, the, the, the which one should go first? I would go with the Kulak. Go with that Australian Wagyu. Australian Wagyu Kulak. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cooked perfectly. Looks mighty fine. Oh my gosh. Guys. Rips like paper. Mmm. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Melt in your mouth. Woo. Mmm. How often do you have this? Uh, we try to run at least once a week. Amazing. Getting into the first example of the uniqueness and quality of cuts, I mean, we basically had a steakhouse cut of meat right here. So Friday special. Oh my gosh. Mm. What a like. Oh my gosh. Man. Guys. This is insane. Oh. Mmm. Holy flavor. Mm. Um, the smoke is just like an accent. It's not overly heavy. So not only are we like operating on like a barbecue, like standard brisket, pulled pork, which historically barbecue was made with like cheap economic cuts of meat which were cooked this way to make them palatable and enjoyable is it this you put the chimichurri with or the other one yeah normally we put the chimichurri with that and the uh ribeye mm -hmm. try a little bit i'm not the biggest chimney person but try a little bit mm. very fresh mm. doesn't need it Ooh -wee. Mm. Of course, in today's economy, brisket is definitely not cheap, pork butts are not cheap, ribs are not cheap, but at one point in time, these were essentially throwaway items. But then you have, you know, kind of like the uh, the steaks, and you have the different cuts of meat, which are like steakhouse quality. And seriously, you can tell they're using a very, very, very high quality cut of beef. It's a huge difference. <sighs> Thought I had some burps here, try to get some comments to the chef. Next we have the ribeye. Mmm. 
again, just absolutely fall apart. So the fact that Blue Line is kind of combining, we'll say the more traditional barbecue meats and the more traditional, like high quality, high end, you know, exclusive, exquisite steakhouse meat and cuts is just like the coolest thing, mind blowing. And well, hey, even if that, those items aren't really done in a Texas style, a little bit of Texas, but I mean, you can, it's more done in like a steakhouse style, um, you know, kind of chopped to order, cooked, beautifully if I will add perfectly kind of like medium rare using some really nice kind of seasonings on them and because they still do cook it over that uh, post oak still cook it over that wood you do get a real kind of I'll call it grill woody wood fired grill flavor that's the way I'd put it you know and a little bit heavier smoke than that I mean there's a bit of smoke on it but I mean if you compare you know the amount of smoke you're getting in the you know tomahawk steak versus in the brisket it's drastically different but it should be these are very different cuts so the amount of care concern and coordination that went into the proper cooking of each of these items is again super impressive and something a lot of restaurants don't do because it's just it's complex i mean imagine you got to have a whole bunch of variety of items that you have to slow cook you have a variety of items that you have to you know we'll quote call it fast cook and again you have either usually most places being a barbecue or b steakhouse come on nine minutes hot damn as these pickles and pickled onions are delicious mm. i seriously just brighten up the, uh, mm. just spark of flavor. Mm. And especially with such a rich, fatty item. Woo! Definitely revitalizes you. Because mm. wow, these are absolutely amazing, delicious. These are some serious, heavy cuts of meat. Mm. Yeah, both these beefs. They're just like nice light smoke. And the flavor and seasoning really preserves that beef flavor. So it's good. But that's a lot of talking about meat, a lot of talk about animals, but while we're at it, definitely grab yourself some I Eat Animals merch or merch in general at joeleats.com if you in do like to eat animals and or meats and or you just want to grab some other merch we got lots of different items there um, but let's talk about the other items such as like their pickles their pickled onions they made them all here their coleslaw dressing they made here which was also delicious and let me tell you about the coleslaw next it says try some pork ribs from st louis style mm. oh mm -mm -mm. very good Mm. Oh, damn! Mm. A lot. It's sticky sweet. Mm. Whips, savory. Mm. Fatty. Mm. And not overcut. Very, very, very. Properly done. Where'd you bite it? Hold the shape. Has a great texture. Mm. Amazing. But not need a bouncer on this lovely mustard sauce. I love me a mustard sauce with pork. Mmm. Oh, yes. Ooh. Mm. Totally not these are deliciously sticky sweet by themselves. Mm. That's a very, very nice mustard chop. Apparently one of the owner's biggest pet peeves is kind of like what he calls a runny coleslaw. So literally every time you order coleslaw, he mixes it to order. So you're talking, you're having your plain cabbage, you're having their house-made dressing, and when you order it, they're whipping on up just for you at that very moment. And that was very apparent uh, in the coleslaw when we started at the beginning, being it was incredibly crunchy because of that. So you had this extreme, you know, kind of 
we'll say preservation of texture uh, no loss of you know even the texture of the sauce if that makes sense so really it's not runny sauce there's no extra excess liquid in it and the cabbage itself is super super crunchy and then they have I mean like things like the uh, brisket elote which I was hoping to get the opportunity to try they were really well known for their potato salad as well, their mac and cheese. Um, like I said, they bake, make pretty much everything here. Um, actually, they make everything, well, except the animals, we'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, so just shout out to them for the different uh, kind of innovative combinations of flavors. And again, a lot of care, a lot of concern going into this product, into this meat, and it definitely kind of shines through. But like we said, we we're hoping to get the platter for free if we complete it in the 45 minute time limit. Um, so that's pretty much the majority of the info. So that guys, let's tune on in, see what happens. But let me just say, oh man, I also the ribs actually with that regular sauce too. Mm. Fire. Mm. Just all the sweetness of that, the smokiness, it really brings out There's the amazing richness. You've got like bark and pepper on there. We're only really getting into the crazy, crazy, craziness of the barbecue starting, well, uh, in a couple minutes here. So stay tuned and I'll let you enjoy. So what got you in the barbecue, Matt? I've always had an interest in it. It kind of was one of those things that uh, actually paid me to go to the police academy. Mm. A good buddy of mine was a big catering company in Gainesville. And uh, so I started cooking barbecue with him to go to school and just kept on with it. And I took an interest, special interest in uh, Texas style barbecue. Mm. It's the best. And put a lot of love on what we do. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service, my friend. How long were you a police officer for? I'm in 16 years. Damn. 16 years. Brisket, short rib, burn ends. I'm gonna try some of this pulled pork. I'll uh, throw on this uh, some of their sauce here. Mm. Excuse me, compliments to the chef. Compliments to you, Mr. Matt. Uh. Ooh wee, all the compliments. So I guess this normally. Oh wow, yeah. Mmm. Very flavorful. A little bit of vinegar in it. Mmm. Oh man. Actually, that is delicious. Wow. Mmm. Definitely garlic. Vinegar. Mmm. It's very refreshing. And, um, really cuts from the fat of pork. Try some of that mustard. I love you. Like I said, love me some pork and mustard. Shout out the Carolinas. We are close to them after all. Mm. Oh man. Oh man. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. All right. That is delicious. That pulled pork and that mustard sauce. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mommy. Pure money. Woo! Ugh, my heart. Ugh. I'm gonna stop my heart there for a second. Oh, not calorie free, but damn good. Man, the uh, actually, you actually do, a, you do a really nice pulled pork, man. A lot of places pulled pork is just kind of like pulled pork. There's a lovely flavor on it. Lovely texture. And with or without that mustard sauce, very good. But with that mustard sauce, oh my god! Mm. All right, clean palate. Let's dive into some of this. Uh, there's brisket, which looks mighty, mighty fine. Oh man, that is tender and soft. Oh my gosh, this is a lean part. Oh my, woo! 
Holy! Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, Matt. Hot damn, man. What the heck? Oh. Mm. Everybody, this fat, this waggy fat, literally just melts. Oh my gosh, it's like beef butter. Oh. Ooh. Oh my, look at this. It barely stays apart. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Mm. Mind blown. Oh man. Mm. Woo, that was a bite of fat right there. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sensory overload. Oh my gosh. Dude. You're right, I don't know if I can finish this. Just a freaking bite of this will stop you in your tracks. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Remember a moment of silence for this freaking cow? Mmm. Holy crap, man. That is amazing. But holy jump, it's that is rich. That is, that Wagyu is freaking quality, man. The Wagyu and Prime you guys use. Mm. Pickled onions and pickles and jalapenos need it. Woo wee. Oh my gosh. Mm. Fantastic though. What do you put on the brisket, man? Uh, that's gonna be our brisket rub. Mm. It's a uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Woo! There's a little bit of uh, different kinds of peppers put in it. Okay, that bite was even more ridiculous. Oh my gosh, guys, just by the second. Mm. Oh! Man, you can like see right through this beef. It's so marble. Mm. All right. Secret to it's using good quality oh. beef, using good, good quality ingredients, you know, even down to the pepper. Oh man, I don't know if I've actually had a higher quality beef at a barbecue restaurant. Oh my god, most, most a lot of places just use choicer. Something about oh my god, Woo. dude, that is amazing. Not calorie free, but amazing. Oh man, can I get a little bit of that rubby put on it? I would love some. Maybe some more pickled onions and pickles too. And if you made it this far without skipping ahead, first off, thank you so much for watching. I'll give you some inside scoop. Um, so we filmed this one day right before they opened, hence why it is so quiet in the restaurant. It is dead quiet, but uh, definitely worth checking that even though they're only open two days a week, man, this place definitely is some good food. Seriously, thank you, God. I'm so glad cows taste so damn good. Mm. All these animals, hot damn. Holy jumpers, whew. I'm gonna, well, you know, hold, blah, 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 blah. While my mouth works, I'm gonna try to save these to the end. Get a little of that rub with it. Oh my gosh, guys, that is just an explosion of flavor, explosion in my mouth. Woo! All right, try to focus. Try this uh, pork belly burn end. Yeah, mmm, actually. Nice and smoky. Let's try a lot. Basically, this would be a heavily sauced and heavily smoked thick piece of bacon. It is very good. Mm. I got a little bit of rosemary. Oh, that bite is really nice. Again, I think some of that raspberry chipotle. Oh, that was a that one was a bite of fat. Ooh. Mm. Flavor. Sweetness. Ooh. And rich. All these eggs. So rich. Mm. Well, very good. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. That was a bite. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. There is so much fat in that brisket though. Wow, talk about a fatty brisket. That is Wagyu right there, buddy. Mm. Mm. Woo! Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh my lord. Woo! Heart stopping. Guys, this is a that is a that's a mouthful of fat. Oh man, I'm gonna save that to the end. Woo wee! Oh holy jumpers. Mm. Oh my gosh. So not calorie free, but so delicious. Florida has a good barbecue. You can get good barbecue. Oh my gosh, guys, Stark. Stark, Florida. Hot damn. This is such a huge freaking, look at the size of this rib. Dude, this is massive. Guys, this is like, hold on, see like, <laughs> this is mass, this is so, oh look at this. Falling off the bone. Woo wee. Man, talk about, oh, okay. I think this is just gonna kill me, everybody. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is just absolutely nuts. Look at it jiggle. Well, I have like the fattiest part of the cow, basically, and the fattiest, best brisket ever. So, basically, we got fat left and the best kind of fat possible. Cheers to Florida. Cheers to Texas and pray for my arteries. Mmm. Oh. Yup. Mmm. Mmm. That smoke. Woo! Oh man. Mmm. Look at this rib. Look at that. Oh my lord. Let's see what that's all about. Woo wee! Oh! Oh man! Hot damn everybody! Oh my gosh, that is like literally a mouthful of fatty succulent meat. Oh! I don't know what's richer, the short rib or the brisket. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh. Talk about flavored sensory overload. Woo! Oh man. You don't need much but a bite of that. Holy jumpets, everybody. You don't even need a whole one of these yourselves. This is like, uh, oh my gosh. I have fat dripping down my face. Oh my god. Mm. Holy crap. How often do you have these? Uh, we're gonna have those every Friday at the restaurant. We try to run them um, every couple weeks on the truck right now. So focused on that meat, I'm gonna throw about the uh whew, the low tie. What I tell you, well, there's a lot of meat, but these are such heavy, heavy items. Oh my gosh. Absolutely not calorie free. Man. With that, let's try this lovely. Look at the lote. Lote, if you're not familiar, is like a Mexican style street corn. Whew. This one's actually smoked. It smells good. We got some cheesy stuff in there. Oh man. Whew. Guys, that, that barbecue is heavy. <clears throat> Excuse me.
But that was about almost three pounds of brisket alone. How much do you think that rib weighed, man? Uh, about two pounds. Two pounds. Whew. Cheers, everybody. A lote. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Woo. Cheesy. Very rich. Very creamy. Definitely not like a traditional lote or ski dish, but very good. Very, I like the smokiness to it. It sounds funny, but it almost reminds me like a uh, mac and cheese, so called a corn and cheese. Finishing this off, it's about 34 minutes. All right, everybody. Well, blue on cue. All right. Let's see this. Uh, see if I can even live after this bite. Oh my gosh. Everybody, I bet you have to swallow that. Oh my gosh, or chew it. Oh, just, ah. Uh. Anyway, I think we're finished there, but like, oh my gosh. Is that done? That's yeah, it. that's it. Like you did it. Oh my gosh, hold on guys. I need a second to like collect myself and breathe. Ah. Uh. Oh. I'll have to carry you out here. Oh man, you might. You got a wheelbarrow or something? Yeah. Woo. All right, everybody. Let me tell you. I don't think I've ever had a higher quality cut of meat in a barbecue restaurant. Just, oh my lord. The amount of fat, the amount of flavor, the richness in that was so succulent and so delicious and so good. You know, definitely you get the Texas style vibe in this. It's not like a thousand percent Texas, but they do it so, so, so well. Man, this is just damn good through and through. Whew. I mean, my favorites, let's be honest. The brisket was just to die for. The uh, short was absolutely great. And the pulled pork honestly really stood out also. The, the pulled pork with your, the, 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 the kind of the mojo sauce you got, and that little bit of mustard, ooh wee, I love that. That is so good. Turkey was great too, that definitely stood out. Guys, look at this. You can, like, this is what the paper's supposed to look like, this color. You can tell how fatty and rich this all was. This is, this is fat. This is pure, delicious fat that turned this tray <laughs> a little darker, but undoubtedly. Blue Line Q, would 100% recommend. And uh, yeah, like Gainesville area, I guess. Is that how you describe it? Yeah. Gainesville area. Gainesville. Just like, uh, what, what, northeast? Yeah, we're northeast. Uh, about, probably about 10 miles outside of Washington County. 10 miles out of Gainesville, guys. Just pretty much right off the highway. It's super convenient. And holy crap. Dude, that was good. That was I damn, that was like. damn good, everybody. So yeah, I didn't know what to expect, but thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Definitely, honestly, hands down, the best barbecue I've ever had in Florida. Hands down. Come on, it's gotta be better than that. Hey man, it is, I'll put, I'll, actually, I'll give you this. That brisket is definitely some of the best I've ever had. Hands down. I will, I'm a man of my word and I mean that. And uh, everything was great. I got no complaints. I really, really, really don't. But seriously, definitely the best, best, best barbecue I've ever had in Florida. 100% recommend, well worth the trip. I drove all the way basically from Tampa today and uh, I would do it again. So, till next time everybody, of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Hot damn. You know where to come on by. Blue Line Q. Um, yeah, I'm going to a cardiologist right now, but I got a doctor's appointment, I'm just kidding. Although I will say, Pray for my, uh, pray for my, pray for my heart, guys. This was great, but until next time, buddy. Say hello, you're happy eating. Bye. Right. Have a good day.
That's it. How you eat all that? Yeah, there's a lot, man. That is no shortage, brother. No shortage. Right, everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.